those who are not uh, within this time zone. So welcome to today's session. And uh, originally we were to have part two of last week's session, which was on building an HR um, management app, but the speaker, we have been unable to get to the presenter. So we are having to do a completely different session right now, but uh, it's going to be also equally value adding. So the title of the session finally for today is uh, Dynamic Filter versus Advanced Filter. And Timida Yomuni will be the one taking the session just in case it's time, the time he spends on the session is not enough for the whole one hour. Then I will be coming in to fill in the remaining with another interesting, valuable topic. And uh, just to mention about us, your visage by Microsoft Excel, financial modeling, business intelligence, data analysis solutions firm. So if you have any training need, you will need to use some of our resources. Just go on our website anyway. You will see all of our free to use resources, free trainings, free, there are a lot of free things we give then eventually if you like them and you want to take advantage of our paid trainings and call, then sure. Okay, so next slide please. And the, this slide is not updated, but move to the next slide. So eventually mm -hmm. any training, uh, you can always go on our website to see the calendar for the next ones or email us. So Temida Yomuni is the one taking the session uh, right now. He is a Microsoft certified data analyst. He's one of us anyway, so I wouldn't take too much time reading his profile. Uh, he's going to be sharing from his wealth of knowledge on something he's identified as a bit interesting for people to see the difference between dynamic filter and advanced filtering. And uh, just to mention, he's a, he's a big fan of DC Comics and Manchester United. Unfortunately, they are not doing well right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you, Michael. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just open for to today's topic for um, I'm coming. Okay, Maya, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good, um, good everyone. Um, my name is Temi Dayo. So I'll be taking, I'll be, take, I'll be showing you guys um the difference between. The different filters we have in Excel, the different filters we have in Excel. So we have basically what we use to basically the normal filter and we also use the advanced filter, which most people don't really know about. But with the new introduction of the dynamic filters, so I'll be showing you those three today. So let me just start by clearing my screen. Let me clear this first. So first thing first, how do we bring up filters in Excel? Normally, we just go to the data bar, which is over here. Come to your data bar here. You click on your filters, and your filters are, are out. So basically, filters are just more like you're filtering information. You're trying to like break down certain information. If you need certain information, you're just trying to break it down. Like, okay, you're going to get a specific kind of information. That's why you use things like filters. So let's say um, I want to get some certain products. Let me say I want to get like two products. And I say, um, let's say I want to get pit product like Chicken Bailey and Chicken Suya. This is, this is the normal filter we're using now. I select Chicken Bailey and Chicken Suya. And I select, I select Chicken Suya and Chicken Bailey. I can see the data has been filtered out. It's only showing me information for only what Chicken Bailey and Chicken Set to filter. I said the number was two not equals to greater than, greater than or equals to less than different, different categories. So these are also the number of filters. This most people once I don't really use most times. So these are also another features of filter. I can also say, I want to set a time. So if I come to time, yeah, I can say, okay, number filter. 
I can say um between I can say okay between eight thirty eight thirty and nine o'clock, right? Come in. Between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Okay. Between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. But there's something they call the advanced page. Which most people don't really know. Uh, so I will show you that. Just, let me get this also. Okay. Let me remove from here. So um, uh, let me just give it a breakdown. For advanced filter, you need three things. Number one thing, you need, you need a table array. That's the list of table array. Table array. Table array. Table array. Three tiers. So the criteria is also one another thing you need for advanced filter is where to copy to. So these are the three things you need for advanced filter. First thing is table uh, array. Let me, let me uh, know. Criteria. Right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, your video and voice are not okay. together. So like what Hello, you man. do? Yeah, my yeah. Okay. Your it seems your network is a problem. So your voice is not in sync with the video. Then also wow. just not like it was it will stretch what you say, then after some time it will merge everything you say together. And then uh, I thought it was manageable, but people are also mentioning me. Uh, what do you think we can do? Is it like you have two networks there or what can we attempt? Hello. Yeah, I did. Hello. I think the network is really bad. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I will just take it up from my end then. Since I know the topic you are doing, I will just uh, do it from my side. Sorry. So what about and can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Hello, my hello. Wow, wow. Okay, so maybe I'll just take it from here. I'll create the okay. same okay. Okay. So I'll use it from here. Let me get my screen set up in your video and see. Okay, so I'm going to continue from where I stopped. Uh, let me bring up the files and then share my screen. So let me use the file that we have all the things I need to do. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. And uh, I need to make myself a presenter. Make myself a presenter. Share my screen. Okay, so back to where it was exactly. And um, what it was trying to explain to us that there are two major ways we carried out filter. In fact, uh, there is, let me just bring up my writing material. If you, if you ask me, I'm going to say maybe we should even say there are three ways, okay? Because one way can be split into two actually, okay? So uh, help is, what do you think is the video lagging on? So let me try to write here. Okay, so filters, which is all about, I have a lot of data, well, relative to what you need, and you want to get out exactly the one you want, right? So there is the usual filter that we all go to. So 
Sometimes I can call it basic filter. And then there is the advanced filter. And these days now with the dynamic array formulas, one can say there's another third category that can be labeled as dynamic filter. So how, what's the difference between all of them? Let's quickly see an example that will try to bring up the differences amongst all these filters. So I'm going to go to the practice file. So if you look at my screen, which is a very common thing, Many of us, you have tables that have a lot of records. This has about 5,000 records. Okay. And uh, just say that for you, what you're interested in are two items. So let's talk about what you want. Uh, you know what? Let me write it here. So let's talk about what we want. Want. All right, so I want from that table, I want two specific types of products. So I want two specific types of products. They are all pizza anyway. So maybe I want pizza, right? Uh, pardon my spelling. And I want hot veggies. Okay, then let's even go for that a bit and say, I'm not interested in everything. I want where the quantities are greater than two. And then let's even add a bit more interesting condition to it and say, I want where the time of transaction, the time of purchase was 8.30 to 9, 8.30 to 9. Okay, so if those are my requirements, what I'm looking to grab, where is everything I want? Interesting. Okay. Well, I hope you saw all I wrote for some weird reason. They've all gone off. So, uh, anyway, how do I achieve all of that super easily? Okay. I am going to go to home menu. And if you look at the right, you see sort and filter. And the moment you pick filter, The moment you pick filter, you will see this familiar, I call it familiar because a lot of us have come across it. So you're going to see the familiar filter drop down icon, right? So let's start with, uh, I hope this comes back. Okay, not a problem, I will rewrite it. Maybe I did Ctrl Z on me. Let's say Ctrl Y. That's strange. I didn't do Ctrl Z. So let me write it again. Pizza quantity. Time. Okay. And how do I want them? So something is wrong with my computer today. <laughs> I'm not going to use this to explain anymore. So let's start. Quantity uh, pizza type, right? I want so you can easily pick what you want. That's the thing about this one. You can pick you want pizza, you want hot veggie. Kind of straightforward. Okay. So where most people don't pay attention and um, they do a hard method for something that will have been easy, is when what they want is a bit, uh, a bit more straightforward, let me use that word. So imagine that what I want is something like items that start with. So maybe I want product or SKUs that start with, you know, A, B, C, D. So in that kind of a case, you notice that people will start looking at the names and ticking, ticking, ticking. I could have done that really faster by coming to these text filters here and saying begins with. So what am I trying to point out is you have this option also to allow you to do something that is a bit more, uh, shall I say, a bit more logically inclined. You know, when the logic aligns with these things, so I can say does not contain, you know, I can say contains, ends with a specific um, set of characters, begins with, you know, 
does not equal equals. So that's something I want you to be aware of. So let's move on. So we've chosen for the product we are interested in, mixer and not veg. What about quantity? So I can again come here and say, ah, I don't want all the quantities, which is what we said there. We want greater than two. Now, the thing is, I will not come here and be ticking three, four, five, and I'll check one, two. Because I know better. I know that I can come here and choose a logical way of applying that condition so that I don't have to be ticking one by one. So I can go here and say greater than. Greater than what? Greater than two. And if you just want to check it out, there are other options too here as regards what you can pick. You see, there's a very, well, not that very long, but it's fairly long list of options that you can pick to allow you to get exactly what you want in one setting without you having to, to, to be doing some manual-like kind of approach. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go with this and click on OK. So that is done. Then what about the situation regarding the time? So we want between 8.30 and, uh, and 9. So between 8.30 and 9, again, I come here. This is an uh, example of where it will not make any sense for me to unselect all and then come here and start from 8.30, right? And start ticking everything, ticking, 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 you know, and I'm still going to 9 o'clock. So you see, by the time I'm done thinking, maybe it's already almost end of this time for this webinar. So uh, I'm going to do something smarter. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to say, I want between. You can even do some other nice and interesting things. You want the top 10, which can you can even tweak to be the bottom 10. So I'm going to say, I want between. So once I pick between, that allows me to specify the start time which, as I've um, mentioned, 8.30, and I can specify the end time, which is going to be 9 o'clock. Okay, and that's just it. Specify the start and the end time, and I click on OK. And this is it. Okay. So this is what I am describing here as the basic filter. Basic filter, number one. Okay, now let's go to advanced filter. So what about advanced filter? So the thing about advanced filter is when the condition of what I want is, is a bit not uh, straightforward. So let me look for something to write with. This one is acting funny. Or oh, let me close it. Let me close it now. Let me try another thing. So the one we just did, right? is this Mizza Hot Veggie and the quantity greater than two, greater than two time eight thirty to nine eight thirty to nine all right, so this is what we need. Now, if I take all of this, maybe something is wrong with this thing. Uh, I'm going to write it again. So I want to talk about a completely different scenario. Okay, I'll write it in a separate page. Oh, that everything else is gone. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, but this time around, I'm making things a bit more interesting. 
So yes, the same two products, but um, quantity, this should be greater than two, this should be greater than three. Then time, this should be that 830 to nine, and this should be 840 to 820, okay? How are we going to achieve this? Let's go try what we know. And you will see that what we know will never work. I'm going to remove the filter effect. So I'm going to say clear all. So we are back to, you know, this is it. Then yes, I want two different types. The same hot veggie and mixer. So this seems to be done, but for quantity, now, how am I going to tell Excel that the quantity that I want is different for, for Mitza? Mitza should be, let me check. Mitza should be greater than two, right? This thing is three uh, playing games with me. <laughs> uh, anyway, not a problem. But you saw me write greater than two, then greater than three, right? Then here, 830 to nine, then this other one, 840 to nine. So uh, how will I specify that? That's the problem with with this normal filter. It doesn't allow you to say, Midza, one type, type of condition, or the veggie, another type. What it does is, whatever you set here, applies to everything at the same way, at the same time. So I can't go forward. That is the problem. I can't go beyond this stage because I have conflicting conditions. I have the condition for mixer different from the condition for hot veggie. So what do I do, right? Uh, some people will say, why don't you do one by one? Aha, thank you. So why don't we do one by one? Why don't we do mixer first? So let me show you what most people do. They'll be like, you know, why don't you come here? Do mixer first. Do mitza greater than greater than 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 two, right? Do mitza that has a time that is a uh, between nine, sorry, between eight thirty to nine, right? And then Copy it. Go to where you want to put your answer. Paste it. Right? Then go back. Go back to your original data. Then do for the other one. So we do for the other one, which is uh, hot veggie. And then this one, the filter is different. So in the greater than is greater than three. In the between here, the between is also different. The between is uh, 840 to 920, right? And this is another way. So you do this. And then you paste this underneath this one, right? And I remove the double letter, and you're like, wow, you're done, right? Uh, there's a better way. <laughs> so let's go learn the better way. That better way takes us to advanced filter. So advanced filter. Let's do it together. I'm going to clear all these filters I've done here, turn it off. So for advanced filter, just like uh, Timidayo has mentioned, there are three steps to advanced filter. Right? I would say you need to decide ahead. Where you want to put the filter output. You want the filter output to be as in place uh, or a different sheet. Okay. So, number two, 
you need to launch maybe before you launch anyway in fact i would say before you even decide i have where you want to place it i would say number one is you write out in excel the filter conditions am i going to share the record yes yes there's going to be the recording it's going to be shared so you write out the filter conditions in excel then you need to decide ahead where you want to put the filter out to, right? Then you launch the, it's called advanced filter. You launch the advanced filter from the, now this one is super important, from the sheets you want the results in. Maybe results, one result. This is where I see people mess things up. This one and one other place. Well, uh, remember to select <laughs> the filter conditions or criteria now in your Excel, in your Excel. You will see why I'm writing that there. Normally, I don't put that number four, but then again, when people do this and they miss it, it's usually number three and number four that is the problem. So let's start with step number one. Write out the filter conditions. What are the filter conditions? The filter conditions is that we want price, sorry, we want the product. Is it because? I'm having a session, that's why my computer is so many acting slow. I'm 100 percent performance. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, I want the pizza sold. I want the quantity. Maybe I just pick everything I want. I want the quantity and, and time. All right, so I want the pizza sold to be meter and hot veg. And this one should be greater than, greater than what, two. So you see how we are writing exactly within Excel the conditions. And this allows us to write the conditions in a way that Mitzah's conditions can be different from Hot veggie can be different from you know another type of pizza or another kind of uh, criteria we want to consider and then um, time so for time uh, because it's like a between start time and then end time right so and we need to have time two times we need to have time twice uh, what do i mean if you say you are looking for people who are between 26 and 30 you know, maybe their age is 26 to 30. In my own case, I'm looking for 8.30 to, to 9 o'clock, right? I need to say, let's think about it. Now. You're looking for people who are between age 26 to 30. Does that not mean that the smallest person you will consider is someone who is 26 years old? How do you say some of the smallest is 26? Is that not to say greater than or equal to 26? So that means your start time. It's going to be greater than or equal to the start period, the start criteria, the start amount case, the start time. So greater than or equal to eight, eight thirty. And uh, for this one, it's greater than or equal to eight. I think it's forty, right? What do I think? I think it's forty. Okay, and then uh what about the end time? What about the upper limit of the category? So we say between 26 and 30. We have already said the upper, I mean the lower, and say, okay, you are equal to 26 or above. Now the problem is if, if you leave it that way, someone who is 90 years old, someone who is 80 years old, someone who is 60 something is going to qualify, right? So I need to cap it. I need to say at the same time, it must not be above 30. So not above 30 is kind of like equal to or less than 30. So that way, 
equal to or greater than 26 capture people from here upward. Then this other guy cuts off all the overhead guys, right? So that's why I'm getting between 26 and 30. So I need to do that also here yeah. and say, you know, you must be less than or equal to my hand period or hand limit, upper limit. So uh, 9, 20. Okay, so I hope we are getting me. I hope my voice is not too low because I'm using two devices. There's the one where the camera is facing, which is this one, and then there's the one I'm facing when I'm walking. So I hope you are still able to hear, and not like my voice is um, going up and down. Uh, where did I stop? So yeah, so this is step one. This is step one. Write out the condition. We can take this as done. Now decide ahead. It's a quick decision, but then you need to have it in mind because when we click on on filter, it's going to ask us instantly which one we want. So uh, let's say I want it in a different sheet. So I'm going to do different sheets in my case, different sheets. So I've done this in my head now, and I'm like, hey, I want it in a different sheet. I want it. In fact, I can create another sheet and say this is where I want it. I want it. Yeah, so this is where I want to put my outcome, okay? And what's the number three? So number three says launch the advanced filter. Let me repeat. Launch the advanced filter from the sheet where you want the results to be in. You know, it sounds like a simple way of saying something super important. I want the results here. So I'm going to launch the advanced filter, which is under data menu under data menu C advanced and I pick it and then now we have come to that place where I said it's going to ask me do I want it in place another sheet another location it could even be I forgot it could be in the same sheet but different place so it's not just another sheet that is another that's your only choice uh, but I'm used to like if I want it somewhere else then I want it completely somewhere else you know, like a different sheet so another location is what I'm going to go for. And in my own case, in fact, another sheet itself. So I'm picking this. Okay. And then, so once I pick this, question number one, the entire table that I want to filter from. So let's start with that one. I want to filter the list range. I want to filter from this data. So this is the table that's got everything. And I want to filter from here. So I select it, right? That's my answer to question number one, this one, right? Question number two, what are the filter conditions? So what are the filter conditions? The filter conditions are those conditions that I wrote, these conditions here, okay? So that's why you need to write it in Excel because when you need to provide the answer, the answer needs to be provided as an Excel range, okay? So now that I have done this I've answered question number last and then let's just look at this very straightforward uh, last question so where do I want the results to be in so I want the result to be well here in fact at the beginning of this my sheet so I'm going to do that I picked where I want the results to be let me just zoom so that you see clearly my screen okay so this is everything then I'm going to do okay so okay and voila, I get the result. See, I'm getting the result. So you might be like, okay, how are you sure that this is correct? Well, you saw me do this one manually, right? And this one, nobody argues about it because it's what we already do, okay? So let's see if this is actually correct. And then everything I have here, you see all this, record numbers i should see them in that form let's check so i'm going to say x lookup or v lookup whichever one this one right let's go look for it in this place let's see for ourselves if truly it is there right so this one and if it's there just give me back the same thing anyway so that we'll know if it's really there see and if i drag this down see all these records are there there is not a single record 
here that is not in that place. So I'm having exact same outcome. So this is uh, advanced filter. All right, so what about me achieving the same thing for this third way, dynamic filter? So let's start with the first situation. I have a data here. In fact, so that it's easy for you to see and understand, I'm going to grab what I have here. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to dump this one here, and then we will do the filter beside it so that it's easy to see. So let's start with the equivalent of uh, I want I want for pizza sold, I want pizza and I want hot veggie. Okay, so how could I have done that? And that there was the other thing, I want quantity greater than two, okay, greater than two. Uh, let's just do those two first. So I could, I've done the same thing with a formula called filter. So we now have a formula in Excel called filter, right? And then what do I do? I say, I want to filter from this entire table. So there is something about this formula. By the time I apply, it will not grab the edit. So let me just show you up, up front. Now you might need to copy the heading yourself. So then you will just know that the formula will go grab the input, the records that meet your condition, okay? So let's start with the records that meet my condition. So filter. So filter, let's do array. Array is the entire thing. Control A. Let me see if you can ask copy. This thing is not finished. Let me just tell you what the problem is. I'm on beta version. This beta version is very annoying. Beta version is the one where you get even the things they've not released for everybody. But then, in addition to getting the good things, you also get headaches. Headaches like where some things stop, just stop working. Or exist acting like you stop one time where you take away and it's just not answering you or it's doing his own. So, in case you've always been envious of us that you know all the new formulas I have them, you don't have them. You will be happy that you don't have this other problem of where you exist is acting where. It's not that I'm a trainer, I, I at one time I disabled it. But then they added some formulas that I needed to be aware of and it was looking like I'm behind. And I want to enable it again. So let's continue. Filter, what do I want to include? So I want to include where the product, right, is mixer. So where the product is mixer. Where this one is equal to equal to with, uh, let me just go faster it's equal to meter let me show you something let's do it one by one first uh, comma where the quantity is equal to Equal to no, equal is greater than greater than two. And let let me just first stop here. So I do enter. So yes, I'm going to have only mixer where the quantity is greater than two. So how do I expand the condition? What if I have like an all condition? All condition is this case where I want Mizza or so I want Mizza or or um, or hot veggie. So how do I achieve that? 
So this filter, there's a, you need to mix it with another, you need to mix it with um, another formula. You need to mix it up in such a way that we will get the off condition that we want. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. So there are different ways, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the way that I find most uh, Hmm, I think I'll show you all the ways because there's another one that is really interesting, right? In case you have multiple conditions and you just want uh, the one that will get you uh, Okay, so let me use the one that is very easy for us to think of. There's an OR function, right? So I say OR, this same thing, this same code of, this same list of items is equal to So this same list of items is equal to outlet around then I keep the other condition separate. Okay. So let's see. So this is the problem that we try to find an interesting way to overcome. So it does this issue of, which is, doesn't make sense. That's the issue of when you change things up this way, uh, it's just will not want to. So another very nice way to do this is to, instead of doing the all, you replace all with what we do when we're doing some product. There's and and then there's all. So if I replace the all with plus, Right? See that? Let's check. The this or that? What way? Did I spell my own value correctly? You can have two spaces in there. So you see that it works, right? Uh, this is one of the problems that you might be like, why is the normal one that comes to your mind not the right one? Fortunately, that's just the way it is. So, but there's another way people use. I'm just, let me look at my time. Let me look at how many of us are here and see if maybe I should just um, forget about that for that way. Check mine. Yeah, 12. And there's four. You know what, I'm going to let go of the other way. Uh, let's just learn this one correctly and move on. So that other way involves using match, and that can allow you to select a lot of conditions at home. So let's just go on. So I want I want this one to be this or that. But then I want it to be this and this one, right? So how am I going to capture meter and greater than two? So this is where it becomes a bit more interesting. So I'm going to take out all the conditions up to here and say that, um, let me, I'm going to say condition two is not going to stand alone, right? I'm going to say condition one should be all of Let's just type it all over. Condition one should be this. Is equal to 
visa. Okay, and at the same time, so instead of hand, you saw that all didn't work. It's a common value, and it's not going to work. So we have to use like a multiplication to get the effect of what we want. So at the same time, I want this. No, no, no. Uh, at the same time, I want quantity. Quantity to be greater than two. So at the same time, I want quantity to be greater than two. Greater than two. At the same time, I want time to be greater than. Maybe we should do everything all at once. At the same time, I want time to be greater than or equal to 8 a.m. So you might want to combine the 8, sorry, 8.30 a.m. So I'm going to copy that one again. And so I want it to be less than or equal to 9. Let's first stop right here and see if it's working the way we want. So this is just for Mitza. So let's see if it's going to capture for Mitza from 8.30 to 9. In fact, maybe I should write that time condition like we did for the other one. Something is looking up. Why is it underlined here? Anyway, what I'm seeing my um, Michael. Um, yeah. Michael. Yeah. Change that time to number. Change the time to numbers. Like general number, not time format. Okay. Let me even just type it here. Because then we we'll start splitting it to give like a, it's cutting like a ratio. Oh, okay. uh, I'm going to copy this. Time eight thirty. And this one should be eight forty. Nine o'clock, nine So let's go back here. Let's dump this back in there. I'm even already noticing that was why it was picking columns. Yeah. So these yeah. and this. Let's see. Uh, compare this format to the time format. Okay, so that works, right? It's the exact same thing <laughs> that I should be copying all these conditions right now. Let me zoom so you see my screen. So all these conditions right now. You'll be like, why all this stuff I had? Why? Uh, I think over time, they will find a way to make it more intuitive to add these conditions. A lot of us would have loved it if the conditions can be changed inside of them. If the conditions can be changed inside of an hand or a call function. But nonetheless, for now, that's the way. So I'm going to wrap this in its own bracket. And then I'm now going to say plus. So plus is my all. So plus these conditions again, but this will now be the product here is not going to be I2. The product is going to be the hot value. And then the greater than, let's do greater than three. And the time is going to be not this K2. The time is going to be this specific one. And also to the end time is going to be this specific one. And I close it. Let's see if I close it correctly. I need to do one more here. Then before I now close the entirety. So this is looking like one giant 
formula, right? So that's why there is another popular way people try to do this, that to shorten the formula, but the complexity can be more, but um, let's do it and see if we get what we're looking for. So yes, I get hot veggie and mix. And what's the advantage of this one? The advantage of this is that as things change here, they reflect here. Okay, so if I come in here and I say there's a pizza that we that the price point pizza is that is price only ten thousand, but we sold it at uh, eight forty. Instantly it pops in here, right? If I go to likewise for the one we did here, so if I do likewise for the one we did here, where the answer is showing here, you know, if I do the same thing. 10,000, we sold it at 840, so it means it qualifies for our condition. It's not going to show up here. Why? This is not dynamic. This is a static, it's advanced, yeah, but it's not able to adjust itself when the original data, there's no more, nothing linking in to the original data. You have to kind of repeat the entire process, you know, for you to see the answer all over again. So that's the strategic advantage of dynamic filter. Yes, you might find that the formulas can get a bit complex looking. Just know that two things. If you want to do and and we know what, you have to use times. So use you want. So when you want and use multiplication, when you want or use a plus. For those of us who are familiar with some product, just think of the way we used to capture and multiply and and for in some product, and you find that uh, if you consider this one that way. You will not have issues. But if you think you can just use it the way we normally use the if formula, you will be shocked, like you will be missing something you are not expecting. So any questions from people in the house? Uh Timidayo, is there something else you wanted to show that maybe I have not gotten to? Uh, Michael, you showed everything already. You showed everything already. Okay. Okay. okay, I was even thinking maybe I can try to show them uh, a, a shorter way using maps, but I'm just looking at the time. I think let's just go on with what we've done. Let's, let's let this one sink in. So uh, thank you very much for staying today. Any questions from anyone in the house? Any questions? Any Comment. Okay. So, uh, okay. give, us, give us your feedback. Is feedback? So you can drop the comment on the chat box. And we have a session coming up at 6 p.m. So please uh, make it. Let me show you what the session is like. So we have a guest, and the topic is really interesting. Uh, even me, I'm looking forward to the topic. It's web content and API. How can you consume something that is on a website or something that you get on the web? How can you have it, you know, come directly into your reports? Uh, for me, I have had to do some things for clients where the data is coming from the web, right? And they want it to be dynamic. They don't want it as someone we go and be gathering it manually. So join us at 6 p.m. for this. Uh, also, please fill the the feedback form so that we get to hear from you who you would like us to bring suggestions ways we can improve. Um, the topic for this one that um, we're having at 6 p.m. topic is uh, 
web contents and API to teach you to work. So, any questions? Any? Have you gone to fill our feedback form? Okay, and my colleague has shared the direct joining link at 6 p.m. All right, so in the, absence of a, in the absence of any question, I'm going to end the session right now. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for understanding, you know, even though we have to do a last minute switch because the original presenter, you know, didn't show up and we have to just uh, come up with a topic right here and there for you this evening. But uh, thank you for staying to the end and I hope you learned one or two valuable things. More importantly, be aware that there's a formula that can filter and that formula is dynamic, which means as your data is changing, the formula is also instantly changing. So thank you very much and see you next week and hopefully also at 6 p.m. Bye for now.